Hey y'all, this is Christina and I'm back with a video regarding my fiasco that happened at Walmart yesterday. First off, thanks to all of you for watching and thank you to my new subscribers. So let me tell you what happened. It was such a horrible experience and I'm pretty sure I'm never going to try to price match anything ever again at Walmart. So the Vireo One Touch IQ was on sale at Rite Aid for $19.99 up until yesterday. And I had a $30 manufacturer coupon per a diabetes care booklet from Walgreens that I uh, had picked up. So my intent was to have them price match the, the Rite Aid price and then um, use the $30 coupon on top of that. There was also a $45 manufacturer coupon floating around the internet as well, but I only had the $30 coupon. So, um, yeah. I never have price matched before, so I brought their policy on price matching, and I brought their coupon policy, and I even went as far as to bring a uh, print a, printed out uh, copy of Rite Aid's advertisement. Now, the printing printed out ad was not so great. Uh, you couldn't really, it wasn't very clear to see the price, but you could see the item, and you could still kind of make out the $19.99 on it. However, I really didn't even think I needed that because their policy says that they're not required, that the customer is not required to bring a copy of the ad in order for them to price match an item. So I thought I was doing myself a favor, that I was doing them a favor by, by actually bringing some sort of, you know, printed out ad so they could see that this item was on sale. Anyway, so I get there and it is just a total mess. Um, the CSM does not want to accept my advertisement because they can't clearly see the item and I said well sir I don't even really need to have an I have an advertisement per your policy it says it right here showed him in black and white that the customer is not required to bring the ad well he wanted to verify because the price difference was so much this item was on sale for $65 at Walmart and it was $19.99 at Rite Aid so he starts calling and he's on hold forever. And I'm just like, I don't know what's going on. It literally took me five minutes to get someone on the phone at Rite Aid. And he was on the phone forever. Like literally, it felt like forever. About 40 minutes later, yes, 40 minutes later, okay, I finally hand over my cell phone, not to the CSM, but to the real manager, the one that's got the button down shirt and everything. And he has the audacity to say, well, I need to call Rite Aid myself because for all I know, you just called up your, your friend to, to say that this is the price. And I said, excuse me? And so he talks to the, the gentleman from Rite Aid, and then he's like, well, can you verify the UPN number? And then he puts him on hold, and then clearly he realizes that this is really Rite Aid because they're playing music while he's on hold. And then long story short, after about 45 minutes, they finally price match this item. And I'm telling you, I was at my wits end at that point because, you know, I brought an advertisement and the policy itself says that the advertisement isn't even required. They're like, you know, the price is so different so we can uh, require that we verify the price. And I said, well, it doesn't say that in your policy. But anyway, so they finally price matched that and I bought these other items and I also bought a, um, is that Yoka Saba? I can't remember what it's called, but the like the ramen noodles that were on sale, I just don't have it here because my boyfriend has since eaten it. Um, so I got one of those because I had the 50 cent off coupon. I got these wipes right here that were 98 cents. I got two cans of spaghetti sauce as well. And I got three Vireos and I got three manufacturer coupons. Well, I already know, knew it was going to prompt the CSM to approve the $30 coupon, but the other manager... The, the big manager, the real manager, was standing right there. And the CSM was like, should I approve this? Because she has a coupon on top of the price match. And the manager goes, oh, oh, well, no, we can't do that because we don't give money back. And I said, actually, yes, you do. It says it right there on your coupon policy. And I showed it to him, you know, if the, if the value of a coupon exceeds the value of an item, the the cash may be given to the customer or be applied to the the remaining of the basket. So at that point, he didn't really have anything to say. He was just like, well, did you buy other items? And I said, yes, I did. And he goes, go ahead and apply it to the basket. 
Well, of course, I knew that I had, you know, not purchased as much items as I was going to have credit. I basically had $30 credit um, with those three videos right there. So let me just break it down for you. Um, you can see that the wipes were 98 cents. The yolk, uh, what is that called? Uh, Yokosaba was 78 cents. And then of course I had my 50 cent coupon. 98 cents for the wipes. My boyfriend got some gold bond that was 394. Then there's the two pasta sauces and then the Vario IQs that were matched at 19.99. Then the coupons. And so basically I had a credit of 19.23, pretty much $20. Then you have taxes to take uh, into consideration. So I actually walked out of the store with $12.70 in hand. Like they, I didn't have to pay a single cent for the wipes or the sauce or the gold bond uh, or the Vireos for that matter. And I walked out of the store with $12.70 credit. But I'm telling you, it, it was just such a hassle. And I did not like the way that the manager was speaking to me, the tone that he used. Um, you know, I'm not one to just throw it out there. But when he, you know, said, well, how do I know that this is just your friend? I, I was really, really taken back by that. I thought that was rude. And I don't know, you know, what they were thinking, if people just try to man manipulate the system. But I'm only doing what their policy allows me to do. It's just that not enough people know about this, I guess. So I just really thought it was such a hassle. I don't know if I'm ever going to try to price match from Walmart ever again. But yes, when it was all said and done, I did get these items for free, and I did, you know, walk away with $12.70 cash in hand, so, but that was my experience, just wanted to share that with you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back as soon as I can if I make a, a new haul, I'll probably do a new haul sometime in the middle of the week, uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching, leave your questions and comments below. I'd, I'd be interested to know if you've ever had any hassles at Walmart. Uh, if so, were they resolved? But till next time, guys, happy couponing. Bye.